Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp. Today we're going to talk about importing multiple tiles for geolocation. Last video, we talked about importing a single location and how that works. So I'm going to assume you guys watched that already. And this video, we specifically want to look at if we want to bring in more location, more geometry, more, more map pulled into the same model. So let's hop in and do that. All right, I'm going to start just like I did in the last one. I'm just going to say uh, geolocation, add location. Um, this is going to pull up. So same spot, I'm in Boulder, Colorado here. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. Um, and let's, let's find a spot with some stuff. Here we go. I'm going to grab this right here. Not really worried about high res. I'm going to say select region and I'm just going to pull in the free digital globe import and say import. It's going to import and there we go. So now I have that. Now what happens if I want to do even more? I want to bring in more information than that. If I go back up to file and I go to geolocation, uh, where it used to say add location, I now have an option that says add more geometry. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. All right. When it pulls up, it shows exactly where this was before. So what I can do now is I can go ahead and let's slide to the right like this and uh, say select region again. We'll import again, digital globe import. telling me that, that 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 piece was far away from my, because I'm zoomed back so much, I'm actually far away from the original import. Not a problem. All right, so there we go. So what it does is it actually lays the two tiles right next to each other and, and it overlaps them perfectly. You can see that you can't really even, for the most part, tell where that is, that break between them. So you can keep doing this. I can say file, add more imagery. Let's do it. Let's do another couple of them. So here's my original square again. So this time I'm just going to go pan straight down and then say select region. It's going to again tell me that I'm importing something that's far away from my last one. All right. And then maybe we'll do one more. We'll kind of get sort of a square location. Uh, so I'm going to say add again. This time we're going to go diagonally like this and say select region. And again, digital globe, import. All right, so there. Now we have, so there is a limit to how big a piece you can pull in. So if I'm trying to do something really big, like I want to get all of the front range or something like that, I'll have to do multiple imports. When I do those imports, it'll take care automatically of lining these pieces up so they line up correctly. There is a possibility that when I toggle terrain, so I'm going to go up here to view or file, geolocation, show terrain, and it's going to give me those as not a very impressive terrain piece. But if I come in here and I view and I say, show me my hidden geometry where these meet, I might be a little bit off. So you see my two grids of my two pieces don't exactly align, um, which is more exaggerated if I have more hilly space, of course. But for the most part, when you do that multiple import, you're going to get a lot more uh, to view that way. These pieces, these tiles are all here. So I don't have like, they don't merge together. They are all separate pieces. They do show up just like with a single one, they show up and they automatically lock and I can toggle between terrain by going to geolocation, show terrain, so lay back to flat. Um, like I said, for the most part, it's going to overlay the geometry exactly. The thing that's not going to that watermark that's on every import digital globe is going to maybe get uh, see it flickers a little bit because it's doing some Z fighting because these planes are all in the exact same spot. But other than that, everything will be laid on top. So if you need to reference where a street is and you're like following the whole street, something like that, you might not be able to get it all in a single import. But by adding additional tiles, you can continue to import until you have all the geometry you need. There is a point at which you get so much geometry. If I try to bring in like the world one tile at a time, it's going to take a long time. And eventually I'm going to hit a wall where it's so much geometry, it's having a problem. But for the most part, you can import some really big locations. You just have to bring it in a few chunks at a time like this. 
that's really between that and the first one is just about everything you think of with uh, ad location. Uh, it is a super simple, easy to use tool, and it's a great way to get that reference in there. And this tip, what we just looked at here, is a way to go beyond and, and go bigger than what you can import with a single one. And it's really simple, uh, really easy to just add those additional titles. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos every single week, including one of these Square One videos, and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please do leave us a comment down below. Did this help you? Have you run into this issue before? What else would you like to see in a Square One video? We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.